So here we go. Last five of the garden for Kobe. He has averaged 35. Bob Delaney, Mark Hyatt, and David Jones, our three officials. And that's going to be their uh, their style to start the game. It's to whoever Powell is guarding, take him off the dribble. Kobe, I mentioned the success he has had over the last five and shooting in the last five. Kobe beyond the arc. Two for two. Lakers by four, 6-2. Kobe's got a mismatch, wants to get back to Lamar. Instead, he'll go himself. Not a bad idea. He's three for three, and the Lakers lead by four once again. What a stage to do your thing, especially when you're as talented as he is to begin with. Slipped over to Powell. Boy, it's almost like he lost it, but still got it off the glass high off the window. I think he wanted to dunk it first. Similar to the shot he took initially, where I thought it slipped out of his hand. Kobe gets it right back, and Kobe beats Richardson. <laughs> what a display early, 14 to 11. Kobe freed up. Man. Target practice for him when nobody's in his grill. 16-11, Lakers by five, 13 of the 16 belonging to Kobe. Kobe, well, Kobe's off to the great start. He's got 13 of the Lakers, 18. Now David Lee tracking Kobe because of the space. Kobe burns him. Lee was worried he was going to try to go around him. Kobe's got 18. Now the length of Wilson Chandler up against Kobe. And Kobe, yeah, what about right that off man? the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Makes what, no difference. What about that length? Kobe over Chandler after the crossover. Inside the arc. I don't care. It's looked good, didn't it? 45-39 Lakers by half dozen. I'll tell you something. He's got this crowd buzzing, boy. <laughs> Kobe now on the switch by David Lee. Stops on a dime. <laughs> Kobe puts the Lakers back up by five at 47-42. Just set a pick for him, will you guys? David Lee losing the handle. Trevor Ariza coming away with it. Lakers have numbers. He's got Kobe on the wing, and Kobe flying home. Two-hander by seven. 27 for 24. Well, they're getting their money's worth. The crowd is cheering for Kobe in a big way. I thought we, <laughs> we were on the... Didn't you say we were playing a road game? Is it a road... I think it's a neutral site now. I don't know. Spike Lee says, <laughs> I don't know if I like this. I've seen this happen before. It's Kobe with 544 to play in the half gets point number 27 with that one there because <laughs> the Lakers have opened up a little bit of a cushion seven points running of offense early for the Lakers and in particular Kobe jumping it for Lamar and Lamar throws it down Lakers by seven again 51 44 as Kobe the facilitator that time with a quick double and that's what's going to happen they spend so much attention uh, on him now somebody's going to be free and he found him Speedier, you mean? It's quick. They always have a speed lineup. Kobe beats Chandler on his way down. Another 29 for Kobe. And he was just about on the ground when he put it up. Chandler trying to get to the hole. Pau Gasol switched off nicely. Kobe leaks out. Showtime. Lakers by a dozen. Their biggest lead at 59 47. 62 51. Lakers by 11. Kobe sees a crease. He's tripped up. And he'll go to the line. Curls it home. That'll help. And how about 33 of the 64 for Kobe? <laughs> Put on a show, number 24. Gets the bump, the concentration on the target, the and one. And the crowd starts again. Their MVP chain. At the guard. At the guard. Kobe on a fall away. The floater off balance. 71-67. First two points of the second half for Kobe. Kobe, little up fake on David Lee. The fall away, it's his. <laughs> We've seen that a few million times. 75-67. Kobe's got 38. Kobe held up on the pop fly. <laughs> he wanted to go to Pau Gasol. That's on his way down. That's how good it is for this guy. 42. <laughs> Mismatch. If they can get it inside. Kobe on his way down. Glasses at home. 91-84, Baylor-esque once again. Kobe's got 46. Kobe waits for the pick. It'll be Farmar, he's already got one. Give him a couple of triples. Lakers by a dozen, just like that, 96-84. Hey, Robinson. Kobe off the bench. 108-94. There's 48. 48 for Kobe. Kobe taking two on. Man, a couple of free throws coming up. Oh boy, that was a hard shot by Thomas. Here comes the nickel. It's 50 and counting. There's the nickel. 
Bucks of Kobe at 54. Foul the three. He'll go to the free throw line. So he's trying to become the first player to go for better than 55 against the Knicks. That is the standard set by Michael Jordan. Double figures in each quarter. The MVP chant starts, and he is just equal the Spike. total of Michael Jordan I'm, with I'm 55. I'm not answering that text, Spike, by the way. Lakers by 17. The next free throw for Kobe. They put it at 56. And he's done it. A new standard has been set at Madison Square Garden by an opposing player against the Knickerbockers. So not the, the old-fashioned way. Kobe on a spin. What a pivot. Yes! 121-103-59 <laughs> for Kobe. What a display! <laughs> They can't believe it courtside. Neither can we. Harrington barely gets into the rim. And Kobe popped it away, but it belonged to Lee and the Knickerbockers with 3.09 left. <laughs> Spike, I don't blame you, man. This shot is something. You talk about utilizing your pivot foot. <laughs> Spike said, you kidding me? Kobe Bryant. I mean, he has electrified this Madison Square Garden crowd. I mean, they've been on their feet. Every move he's made, every basket he's made, and he's made a lot of those. I mean, difficult shots, easy shots, but more the difficult variety. This one, that is difficult. The one prior to that was difficult. This one here, <laughs> very difficult. Even Spike had to finally stand up and say, are you kidding me? I'm serious. I am serious. So now Kobe goes to the line, looking for the most points ever. At the Garden that opened in 68. He has just equaled the mark of Bernard King with 60. We see him every night. And yeah. you never, or you just aren't ever amazed anymore well, you're by what he does. You're, you're amazed, but you're not surprised. Right, and, and that's the point, that he continues to play at an incredible level. He's got it. Kobe Bryant has now scored more points than any other player at Madison Square Garden with 61. What a magnificent one. Kobe Bryant, a standing ovation at Madison Square Garden from some of the most educated observers of the game. He even got a high five from PJ. I'm serious. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is a crowd that Phil recognizes what he did here at Madison Square Garden. They really appreciate the best he is at the top in the NBA. The very best. Thanks, Kobe. This building opened in February of 1968. Every great player that since then has come through. You know, hold the scoring record in this building. How does it make you feel? Oh, I didn't know that. that, that's, that no, that's pretty awesome. The opponent record was Jordan. He had 55. The record was Bernard King at 60. You just passed them both. Wow, man. That's, that's uh, I don't know what to say, man. That, that's, that's awesome. It's a blessing. What is it about New York? You know, five years in a row I've interviewed you after the Knicks game. There is something about this city, something about this building. What is it? You know, I, I just enjoy playing here. And I, and I think, you know, on, on top of the fact that it's an electrifying place, um, you know, I was a little PO'd because Big Drew went down. You know, and it was something I felt like this was a hump game where we had to have it. You know, we couldn't come out here and play so-so. We needed to get this game in order to make the rest of the trip a positive one. I know that you had to pick up some of the slack, as you mentioned, with Andrew. You're not going to get 61 every night, but are you going to score more until he comes back? Is that part of your plan? Well, you know, I'm going to read the defense. You know, we, we, we uh, you know, last year we played without him. That wasn't the plan then, and it's not going to change now. Uh, but I'm going to read the defense, and now we have, you know, it's, it's, me scoring is a luxury. It's not a necessity. You know, so if I get going, then, you know, we'll ride that white, right, hot hand and keep the momentum going. The question every Laker fan's asking is, can you guys – win get the best record win the title if drew doesn't come back sure sure we can you know we uh you know we knew we were a great team last year um you know we believe we'll be a great team this year but i tell you man having that big fella there it takes us to another level and uh we're all optimistic that he's going to be back in the middle blocking shots getting double doubles like he was before and uh and when he comes back we'll be ready to go last thing for you i interviewed spike lee during the game he says that 
you and him are working on a documentary. You're actually going to go home and do some work now back at the hotel. I got to go uh, work. Uh, is he even going to speak to you after what you just did to his Knicks? Well, that's, that's another thing. I had to make sure I focused because I want to sit next to him, you know, tonight <laughs> going over this film and him talking trash and popping off at the mouth about how the Knicks beat us. So I think you took care of that. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's Kobe Bryant. He holds the scoring record in this building. Gigi, Nani, Vivi, I'll be home in a little bit. Love you guys. Congratulations. Kobe Bryant.